Welcome to Serenity Productions. Okay, so when Fang's mom said right away, she meant right away, huh? Yep. And you're sure that Sai said she was okay to go without her? Yep. So why are we still standing in front of the door? I'm nervous, okay? We're about to meet a very strong and very powerful vampire. And I'm allowed to have reservations about this, okay? And you don't think I'm nervous about this? If you are, you're hiding it better than me. Do you want BB and I to go in there alone? You and Fangs can wait out here. Fuck that. This person has been dodging us for months now, even though they knew what we've been looking for. Which means I want fucking answers from them, and I'm not leaving till we get them. <laughs> That's my cousin. So, you gonna go through the door, or...? I thought you were gonna go in first. Uh, Hellion and Sasha, fuck it, fine. Have I been acting different? A little bit. <laughs> but it's nice to see that the badass is still in there. I think you mean stubborn ass. No, I mean badass. <laughs> Thanks, Sasha. All right. Fangs, I thought your mom said they'd be here waiting for us. What gives? Eve, do you feel that? Hair is standing up on the back of your neck. Yep. Yeah. I feel it. Just a warning. You're dealing with two seasoned hunters. I really wouldn't try anything stupid if I were you. Like you're doing right now. Okay. BB, you got a scent? Well, glad to know they're in here with us. Things you want to handle a formal greeting before uh, they get a knife to the neck? I agreed to meet you, little heir. I did not agree to meet with these mortals. I especially did not agree to meet with a mutt. Oh, I can tell we're gonna get along just fine. You tell him, babe. <laughs> if this is the company that the future leader of our coven wishes to keep, I fear for our lineage. All right, I've gone through enough of the pure blood crap for my lifetime, so why don't you stop acting like a scared fucking corpse and show yourself? Told you. Badass. Did no one ever tell you to mind your betters, girl? At least a dozen times. But... Granted, I've never been one to listen. And are you really that much better than me if you're too scared to show yourself to do mortals and a mutt, as you so kindly referred to us? I was giving you a warning. <laughs> you were the Did anyone ever tell you it's bad for your health to sneak up on the De La Cruz family? Release me from the spell immediately. Gotta hang it to you, Fangs. Your mom knows her way around magic. And with Sai's little spit on it, I don't think you'll be going anywhere anytime soon. So if you want out, I suggest you start talking. When you've answered all of our questions, we'll be more than happy to let you go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. You innocent little brats. How dare you try to good day me like a rat? I will end you once I get out of this. Man, Sasha. I thought you were going to be free from the toxic and law trope. Guess I was wrong. Listen, the faster you answer our questions, the faster we let you out. And yes, you might be strong, but that spell has been modified to account for your old age. In fact, you might recognize the rune we're using. That symbol. It was lost ages ago. How did you find this? 
Well, I guess that answers the question if they know anything about the Nephilim. Which means we can get right into the other questions. Who hid all the books in your library? And are they still alive? <laughs> Great. The silent treatment. Thanks. You might be next in line, but I do not answer to you. I do not answer to any of you. Wrong answer. Eve! You little bitch! Sorry, Sasha, but we're taking a page out of Grandfather's book. We don't have a lot of time to work with here. Who hid the books? You're not allowed to do this. I will report you to the leader. You will. I will nothing. <laughs> because I'll let Fang's mom know that you refuse to help her kid in their time of need. And she knows the timetable we're working with and what's at stake. So I'm going to ask again. And if you get out of this without any more burns, we'll be up to you. So, who hid the books? <sighs> My mother did. Long ago. She hid them on behalf of a friend she had. I don't know more than that. What else did she hide? She had a chest in the library. It was hidden in one of the back rooms. That was the last time I saw it. Is it easy to get to? For pure blood, maybe, yes. Good thing we have one of those. Now, why the hellion were you hiding from us for so long? You must have known that we were looking into this. I made a promise to my mother to keep the secret. The Nephilim died a long time ago and should remain dead. At least that was what my mother told me. So you weren't alive for the time the Nephilim were around then? No. I was young. But I was too young to remember when they were still alive. I know that my mother was happy to have them gone. All those that were older than me were. And now, they are all gone. And the memory of them is finally almost dead. Well, I hate to break the news to you, but no, it's not. If your little group can stop looking for them, it could be. We can't stop looking for them. Why? Because I might die if we do. And if I die, the whole world might die. And no, I'm not exaggerating, because I got slapped with a rune that no one knows what it's for and what it does. So now, I'm stuck with this shit, and I need it off of me. You... You have one of their runes on you. But you should be dead already. No one can handle a symbol with that power anymore. Not on them directly, not attached to their soul. Well, apparently I can. So we need to know everything. And we need to know it now. In the back of the library, behind the section marked poems, there should be a bookshelf with a symbol on it. Draw the symbol again in your blood. Your blood. And it should open in a new section in the back of it. Everything about the Nephilim should be there. Or at least something that can help you. Why me? Why can't it be one of the others that uses their blood? Because if you're the one with the rune, the symbol should work with you. All right. Thank you. One more thing. We found a note to someone that was signed with a J. Do you know who that might be? My mother's friend. Her name was Jocelyn. 
It might have been her. But I don't know. It could have been anyone. <sighs> Alright, things. You can remove the spell. You try attacking us once it's down, though, and I swear to the gods, you're gonna be dust. I would wish you luck. But you will need much more than that if the Nephilim are involved. <laughs> Fucking ominous. Doesn't matter. Let's grab Psy and find this fucking bookshelf. <laughs>